Tonight we're learning brand new information in the case of five Brownsburg Elementary staff members charged with mistreatment of a seven-year-old special ed student. Our Karen Campbell has been digging into the arrest documents today. She joins us tonight in studio. So what did one of the suspects tell police, Karen? So Sarah Seymour, she's been a special needs uh, life skills teacher at Brown Ele Elementary for four years, and she told a detective that it is their policy to encourage a child to keep eating. According to court documents, Seymour advised if a child spit out food and is still, it still looks like formed food, she would encourage them to still eat it, but not vomit. Now, this is a child, according to the family's attorney, who is challenged by autism, memory issues, and communication. So what's even more disturbing, detectives say pictures from video of the incident show Seymour smiling while watching the child eating his own vomit. And when the detective asked her why, she replied, smiling was her behavioral response when nervous. And the detective said he never saw Seymour exhibit what he called self-described stress behavior when he questioned her. So Seymour, she does have an initial hearing on May 5th. So that's what she had to say. What is the attorney representing the family, the student? What did they have yeah, to say? Yes, so Catherine Mitchell is that attorney representing the family. She said, sadly, the family learned of this incident on April 17th, nearly two months after this happened. Mm -hmm. And she said the family just wants to make sure that those who committed this, this act and those who even knew what was happening, they just want everyone held accountable.